design these campers to follow your rig wherever it can take you. So if, if you can do it, this trailer will do it with you. And that was kind of our main objective was to do something a little over the top, built the way we'd want it to be, to be built in America, all in the house. Everything we do ourselves is handmade and we just like quality. And we, we think that people of this industry should also enjoy quality. Well, thanks for joining us today. Super exciting. I'm here with Brandon. What's happening? <laughs> from Overkill Campers, and uh, we're in Bend, Oregon, um, checking out these trailers. I'm really excited to show you guys. They're super unique. They did just get back from Overland Expo, so they have real dirt on them that you're gonna see as well. Um, but without further ado, let's check them out. Guys, thanks for joining us today. We are here with our TK47. Stands for a box size is four foot by seven. It's uh, sitting upon a two by three steel constructed frame that's fully boxed, 120 wall. So we have our tongue designer here, which is a little different than most, as uh, it incorporates a higher breakover angle when you're wheeling hard. Uh, comes standard with our aluminum boxes that we make in house, like everything else we make in house. We have modular tube work, so just like a slider construction, takes a beating mess it up, unbolt it, we'll send you a new pair. All that's modular. Right here it's sitting on 35s with the uh, ability to go a little bit larger to match whatever your tow rig is. If you look on the inside, we incorporate the Dometic fridge right here, which is a cool little slide out, just to incorporate a little bit of home feel. <laughs> I love that. I love that little fridge. That, that is you. slick. Yeah, we, yeah. We had a lot of good response about that at Expo. Right yeah. here, we actually, so it actually does sleep too quite comfortably. It has a nice little panel. It drops into place with the mattress pad. Easy to remove. So that's pretty sweet. But if you're solo, it opens up a nice little footwell so you can get your boots in there and mm -hmm. you're not dragging all the mud and muck directly into your bed. Yeah. Mattress, which we all know is a bummer. At Expo too, you, I think you guys said you had two people and a kid sleeping in here too, or, or what was that? <laughs> we did. Uh, we broke Shambo and they lost, so. <laughs> yeah, they, they uh, packed it here and we're actually quite comfortable. The, you know, weather was perfect. Open up a nice little Dometic fan and have a nice positive breeze going through. That's awesome. So a little bit different with our design is the goal door. So that actually, allows you to open up and have an entire nice view of whatever you're camping here, whether it's lakeside, mountainside, whatever you're doing, because it brings the indoors, the outdoors in. I just saw that for the first time and literally behind the camera went. <laughs> it was beautiful, man. Thank you, thank you. And then up here we have our aluminum storage box as well as a pass through, so you can access your clothes during a rainstorm, get your gear out. You don't have to get out, get your boots on, all that stuff. Down here we have more storage with the ability to incorporate a slide out stove and kitchen. In this model, we decided not to. And then back here, if you move around, we have our Zargis locking case holder right here. So you're able to lock your gear in. It's on a 500 pound slide. So I guarantee you won't have enough gear to break that, <laughs> which is a pretty sweet setup, which once again innovates our storage solutions and design. Back here, it's a cool swing out barn door, but we also incorporate our fully two steel design tire carrier, which can also hold a ton of weight. Uh, I think we had one of our buddies 37s on here. Looked a little large, but it looks badass. <laughs> Dude. Over here we have our in-house made propane holder. It's 11 pound tank right there. Once again, back to the steel structure. You can actually stand on these guys. It's not going anywhere. Incorporating our 8020 roof rack. Once again, you can put a ton of weight up there. Kayaks, bikes, whatever you got, you can put up there. It'll even hold a rooftop tent with ease. 
We do utilize Arctic Terran, awesome type of design. You're able to lock it with an eighth inch out so you can have security plus positive airflow. Keep those bears away when you're up north. Nice. Over here, going back around, just back to the storage boxes. Our lower does include a nice little truck vents. So if you do have your mucky, mucky waders, put them in there and have some positive airflow as you're driving down the road. So that's pretty much wraps up the TK47. Uh, besides having the Timberland 3500 HDs, keeps you nice in control. Track width of just about 78 inches. It's a little wider than a mid-sized truck or a Toyota Land Cruiser, is what we modeled it after. Uh, about 22 inches of ground clearance, so wherever your truck can go, this will follow. So on this model, we actually have the Zarya slides. We have a Propex heater, which is a propane system. Awesome to keep you toasty. We have the roof rack, 35s. Does not have a stove, but we do have the Dometic. And uh, I think that's probably about it on this guy. Beautiful trailer. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for showing us, Brandon. Yeah, absolutely. This thing's awesome. But the big mamma jam is around the corner, right? What's that That's one true. called? This is the SO510. Stands for slide out, five foot by 10 foot box. Nice. So come around here. But you're gonna have to tune into the next video to check out that beast. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out their website at overkillcampers.com. The only question is, are you down to mob an overkill camper? Ah!